Uncle Waffles. If you don't know Uncle Waffles, she is a DJ and TV presenter and also a creative director from Swaziland. And she's right here in the YFM studios. Already making a name for herself in her country. She came to the world's attention recently with a viral video that was posted weeks ago. The, vi- the video was captioned, People Are Burning. Now, the short video that was shared on Twitter has been viewed over 3.2 million times. Some Twitter users have claimed they cannot stop watching the video. I'm definitely one of those people. And in the viral video, she's seen DJing and dancing while members of the crowd are literally seeing being hypnotized by her moves, man. Uncle Waffles, you are welcome to YFM. How are you feeling? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm so happy to see you here. Just a few weeks ago, like, we were just watching you. Um, it was the video. Everyone shared it in the group chats. And it's like, who is this young lady, you know, enjoying herself so much? Mm-hmm. People love going out. And you basically, in that, how long was the video? How many seconds? 27 seconds. 27, yeah, 27 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Yeah, those 27 seconds were magical. <laughs> you know, not just you, the whole atmosphere of the place. Yeah, the crowd and everything. Talk to me. What's it like being a viral star? Um, it's a lot. Um, a lot of things happened in a very short period of time yeah. that I wasn't able to take a lot of things in. Like, you know, hitting 100K in like four days was like crazy. Ah. And then the next four days, you're hitting 200K. So everything happens so fast. But it's all a blessing. Everything has been great. You seem very, very organized because it was literally a few weeks ago. I don't know how many weeks ago exactly. Um, I think officially it's been two weeks now. Two weeks? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Two weeks. Yeah. So in two weeks... You've managed to get um, a team together. Mm-hmm. You've managed to up your social media game. You've managed to get your tour done. You're in Ghana now. Uh-huh. If I said to you two weeks ago, you're going to be in Ghana, what would you say? I would have said how. Yeah. Honestly, like how from like someone who was charging barely anything, just trying to get like 10 minutes to play at places to being in Ghana. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's That's crazy. so crazy. Um, I don't know if you know, but in Ghana recently, some of the biggest DJs on the continent have been coming down here. Yes. Uh, and now you're one of them. Literally, like my friend and I were actually talking about how at some point I was like, you know, one day I'm also going to post a tag, Accra Ghana, because you know, of gigs. And look at me today. That's so crazy. I'm so happy you're here. Now, yeah. you've been a DJ for how long? Um, I've been a DJ since last year, May. Wow. And so yes. you, did you learn? You are still learning. Obviously, you're still learning as a DJ. Always. But you just started learning last year or you I started learning last year when we hit level five lockdown i just was like hey let me actually take this time to learn i love this this is great so lockdown a lot of people did so many different things Mm -hmm. um over lockdown i became a tv presenter you know there we go i think i was on instagram doing a karaoke show on instagram and then i got hit up can you do this on tv it's like Mm -hmm. yeah so it's like it's really cool that so many people took advantage of that now for you one year in and your your shows are going to be sold out Mm-hmm. You're going around the world. I think you're starting with Africa now. Yes. Where have you been in the last few weeks? Um, mainly in South Africa. Okay. I've been in Botswana. Um, yeah, just mainly around South Africa. This is like my first outside gig. Yeah. So, so I'm super, super excited about it. You've got like Drake following you. Yeah, actually. She- <laughs> He's like posting your stuff. Like Drake. The biggest artist on the planet, Uncle Waffles, Drake. is posting. Bro. Yeah, like Drake. 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 <laughs> How does that feel? Think? Um, it feels so crazy. Like it feels like like when I post, I'm always like, okay, Drake's gonna see this. Is this is <laughs> Drake is gonna see this? Let me check again. Drake is gonna see this. Then you know, it just feels really, really good knowing have, that. Have you guys spoken? No. Are you tempted? No. What am I gonna say? What am I going to say? Drake. <laughs> Drake. Everyone is saying I should definitely say something, but I just don't know what I'd say. I'd like, probably be in the same position. I don't know what I would say. Yeah, like, it's yeah. Drake, guys. I'll probably, you know what I would probably do, to be honest, and mm-hmm. if I was you, I'm a DJ. Yeah. Maybe he's got um, a tour coming up in South Africa or the Southern Africa or Africa or even Europe. Yeah. Yo, Drake, um, yeah, I want to play on your set. Like. I think um, because I'm potentially going to venture into music, yeah. I'd ask for a verse. Okay, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. I know you as a TV presenter and a DJ. Now talk to me about the music aspect. Um, that's something that I've been I've been trying to find my sound ever since I started. You know, okay. it's of course you become a DJ, then there's finding what do you feel like is going to be your sound, what you're going to love above anything else. Yeah. So over before this whole thing happened, we were definitely looking into what my sound is, what I actually like. I was A and Ring a lot of music, but yeah, we're still working on finding a sound that I'm okay, I'm genuinely happy with okay. and making sure that it becomes when it comes out. It's a direct reflection of me, you yeah, know? Yeah. yeah. So it's got to be more singing than rapping or... 
Are you um, not trapping? Hmm, I don't know yet. I don't no know problem. yet. We're gonna, we're gonna keep our eyes on you. And so you literally, I'm just amazed that you're here. You look, you look a lot more pretty in person. Thank you. Yeah, like someone <laughs> said it to me, like, yo, but I'm, I'm gobsmacked right now. Thank you. Thank you're you. You're partying in Accra. You're playing in Accra as well as a DJ. Mm -hmm. You got a few shows. Um, yes, I'm playing at the Ama Piano and Branch on Sunday. Okay, that's the only show for I now. think that's alongside Stoneboy as well. Yes, sir. So, do you listen to any of the Ghanaian artists here? Jackie. Jackie. Yes. Wow, I like that. Yes. Jackie is is doing really well. <laughs> she is. She's also someone that also became viral off of her song Forever. Yes. Which you got a remix with um Oman Lay. Yes, yeah, so me and her. Are you are you have you met Late. each other yet? Not yet. Hey Jackie. Hey Jackie, if you're listening to this, hey. Hey. She could be definitely, definitely. Um, listening. She could definitely be listening. Now, collaborations with Ghanaian artists, something that can happen while you're here now? I'd love to collaborate. I feel like I want to seize this opportunity, so yeah. I'm very open to anything. Now, also, for those of us that, you know, we're new to Uncle Waffles, do you have mixes online that we can listen to? Mm, I have mixes on my Instagram, but people actually don't check that out. I have mixes on my Instagram, my IGTV. Okay. I have a lot of mixes from when I, like my very first mix that I posted is like on Instagram. I was like so vulnerable. I was like, hey, go. If I suck, I'm sorry. Yeah. But like, this is me practicing. Yeah. Are you, what genres do you normally play? I play I'm a piano. I play Afrotech, but I necessarily, people want the I'm a piano from me. People mm -hmm. don't necessarily want the Afrotech, but I can play I'm a piano and Afrotech. Now, I want to take you back to your viral moment. Mm -hmm. Literally, you were, the way you were moving, you were a dancer as well. You have not mentioned anything about dancing. Um, I actually dance very well. well but yeah, like, people I think only so. see those small <laughs> clips, but like, I dance very, very well. But like, Sometimes I don't want the dancing to be too overwhelming, yeah. but it takes away from the DJing. But yes, I can dance very, I, I very would well. disagree with that a little bit. Okay. Some of our popular DJs here, I'm going to give a shout out to one of my boys, um, okay. F the DJ. He's a DJ in Accra. He's known for when he plays, he's always jamming. People don't like to pay him. They say that he has more fun than the actual crowd because he's always, he's so in, involved in the music. Yeah, you're supposed to enjoy it. Like, above, yeah. you're supposed to enjoy what you're playing. Mm -hmm. So, it, like, how this whole thing started was just me having a good time. Yeah. And then people started receiving it very well. Then I was like, oh, maybe this is my thing. You know, Shay? Yeah. I think that should be your thing. That is my thing it's now. Insane. Now, aside all the goodness that's happening, there is, like, some, you know, online, I'm seeing your tweets sometimes, and it's like... Of course. You're complaining people are trying to take the shine off you. People yeah. are giving their advice, and sometimes you don't think it's needed. Tell me about that. Um, I feel like once you blow up, you like, because of the internet, people are entitled to your blow up. People yeah. feel very entitled to how you blow up. They feel like they want to control how you then yeah. move. Um, it, it is a little hard, especially as someone who... Two weeks in, a lot of negativity is already coming. It was a little hard to take, but I have so much love that it just overshadows the hate. Like, you know, okay. there's so much love, even from my team, from the people who actually support me. Yeah. Like, I feel very safe. As much as there's a lot of things happening, yeah. all of the things happening are actually working for my good. Yeah. You know, overall, because, you know, the name is getting bigger. They much as they may try to pick at certain things, mm -hmm. they can never actually take down the brand. Yeah. Yeah. Have the media been friendly towards you as well? Very, very. I haven't... Like, the negativity is only on Twitter. Like, in Twitter. real life, there's nothing like that. But okay. on Twitter, people are always going to... But then they switch. They so switch. Like, you know, but yeah, I don't really mind. It is what it is. It comes with the territory. Yeah, because I am it's I, I saw a few people saying that, okay, you know, you, you came viral off a clip. Yes. Now we're looking for something else. It's like, yo, it, it, it's just happened. Let me also... You, like you exactly. mentioned, you have so many things you want to do. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with the fact that people are trying to kind of pressure you to do more? What's crazy is that when I go to shows and I play the song Adiwele, like when it yeah. starts immediately, people get on their feet because they're waiting for me to recreate that moment. Yeah. So it's like, if I didn't recreate... Especially right now, it's only been two weeks. Me recreating that moment mm -hmm. is fun for everybody because yeah. everyone wants to see it yeah. again so nobody's mad only people on twitter because the only thing they see is that 27 second video that people who are in the crowd also chose to post because yeah. that's the moment they also wanted yeah. to be recreated so it's just like mm, yeah so i'm not too mad at it it is what it is what's the part scene like in swaziland because we're all looking at your video again and yes. the people look like they're having so much fun that was in south africa south africa yes i played um a gig my management's gig in south africa like that's 
30 minute set yeah. but in my country the creative scene isn't the biggest yeah. that's why i had to try and find better opportunities in south africa but yeah it's it's barely there barely okay so there. you're are you based in south africa now um since two weeks ago yes <laughs> because um when i came i had packed a bag for just three days and now i'm in ghana so you know life yeah yeah well what i'm going to say to you is i want you to make ghana one of your homes it's yeah this this is one of the best places in africa it right really now. is people say it's the ibiza of africa because mm -hmm. we love to party we love to jam i'm sure you're going to play some gigs you're going to see the crowds are you going to be out tonight um I'm not sure. I'm not I'm sure not what's sure. happening, but I know today is like PR day. Okay, yeah. Yes. So hopefully you get to experience the enjoyment of Accra, the food, mm. the culture. Make sure you collaborate with the artists here as well. Fully. And YFM, we are family. Whenever you're dropping something, we need the exclusives. Yes, sir. Don't worry. You got you. Yes. 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 Um, this is DJ Mike Smith, one of the biggest DJs on the continent. Hi, and, DJ um, Mike Smith. And uh, yeah, he's also um, an artist DJ. But we want to ask if you can come over and try something on our turntable. Is that okay? In the future. Definitely. Not right now, but in the, in the near future. 100%. Good, because, um, yeah, we definitely want to collaborate with you guys. Thank you so much for coming on our show. Thank Any you last for words before you me. run away? Um, thank you so much for having me, you know, yeah. from like two weeks ago to now to having such a huge platform. Thank you guys for even giving me the chance. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Uncle Waffles. We've got 10 minutes left of the show.